Looking back on Izzy Marshall's freshman year, it's hard to believe that he was once a hidden gem on the college football field. After bursting onto the scene and playing multiple offensive positions, it became clear that he was the best kept secret in the sport. Despite not being on many people's radar going into the season, Marshall quickly made a name for himself as an explosive threat in the backfield and as a receiver. He seemed to have a natural instinct for finding the open spaces and making defenders miss, leaving opposing teams scratching their heads about how to stop him. As the season went on, Marshall's success only continued to grow. He racked up impressive yards and touchdowns, and his teammates and coaches quickly began to realize that he was a true talent. Although he may have been overlooked by others, they knew that they had something special in Izzy. Heading into his sophomore year, it's clear that Izzy has a bright future ahead of him. He's already proven that he can excel in multiple positions, and there's no doubt that he'll continue to be a key player for his team. It's exciting to think about what he'll accomplish going forward, and it's clear that the best-kept secret in college football won't stay hidden for much longer. I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this. And a man Tis the season to enter the transfer portal. Fortunately for us, one of our receivers felt like he had a bid opportunity at another school, but that didn't stop us from having the top five recruit class in the nation. Also, that gives it easier, a bigger opportunity more than he had last year. Double football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams are ranked in the top five. Both of them have championship aspirations, but one of them will have a huge leg up in pursuing that goal of winning a national title. We're going to see who can get it done. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. You're facing a team like Georgia trying to three-peat. You definitely cannot make no mistakes. Fortunately for us, we got one of the best players in the nation, the Easy Marshall. First player in the second season goes for 45 yards. Now, being that you got some players that enter the transfer portal and the season that he had last year, his role significantly changed. Better opportunity, more play. He's going to play in the slot. He's going to play tight end, quarterback, receiver. This dude is going to miss to do it all. That's him. As we complete a pass to Williams and he picks up 13 on the plate. Now, as you can see, nobody in the nation can guard this guy one-on-one. -on -one. You get a linebacker on this dude, this is a result that you are going to get. A fan favorite. How about the snap and gets the Now, even though we are up by two scores on the Georgia Bulldogs, that don't mean nothing. Because this team has what it takes to make this a game. As your boy Easy catches it and that turns it up field for 24 yards. And once again, nobody is covering this dude. And to try to step back when he still picks up 32, this dude is out with a vengeance. This dude is out for blood this season. And right here, now teammates out here doing damage as Williams finds the end zone. Scores for 47. Second and three, just a streak route. And once you know, once you get this, it's a done deal. <laughs> now, we want an opportunity to put this game away. Now was the time to do it. And easy. He was definitely up to the challenge as this wrestling touchdown definitely put this game away. Well, we thought we had the opportunity to close the game out. But this catch right here not only closed the game out, but it broke the single game receiving yards record in the game. Hasn't been done since Sammy Watkins. Now that was a true test to start off the season against hey, arguably one of the best teams in college football. But your boy Izzy Marshall made a statement. Nine wrestling attempts, 130 yards, one touchdown, 238 receiving yards, and two scores. And Dabo Swing had a message for the doubters. We're down and everybody's throwing dirt on us. But if, if Clemson's a stock, you better buy all you freaking can buy right now. Now we'll jump into the gameplay number two against that huge win against the Georgia Bulldogs. This is a lesser opponent, but they're on our schedule. We got to handle business. We pick up 21 on that last play. Start of the second quarter, we kind of made up our own route and we got open. We caught the pass and damn near scored, but we picked up 23 
on that play. Right here, quick slant pass, first touchdown of this game. First and 10, you know, Wildcat quarterback action going on. Right here, we try to escape the pocket and we throw a dot to Collins. And that's good for 16 on the play. Squeak little bubble screen, 30 inches. Good block by the receiver, turn it upfield. Second touchdown on the game, man, let's get it. As we are big, man, first and 10, we kinda gonna add insult to injury, bounce it to the outside, turn it upfield, and that is a touchdown, man, as we jump into game number three against 1-1 Georgia Techs in the ATL, back in his home state. Right here, we catch the pass, and that goes for 11 on the play. We had subbed out of the game, but even though we subbed out of the game, man, our receiving core is still going to do a lot of damage. Line up at tight end. Now, you know what that means. Pass underneath, breaking the ankles. Touchdown. Let's get it. 24-yard touchdown reception, second and two. As I said before, you cannot slap no linebacker on you. I don't care how fast he is, but... We definitely gonna do damage right here as we catch the pass, man. We end towards the end of the video. We gonna walk out here with a W, man. But stay tuned for this series, man. It's only gonna get better, man. Appreciate y'all, love y'all, the life. That's a touchdown, by the way, man. And I'm gone.